And thank you to the organizers for, for the invitation to, to come here uh, as a keynote speaker uh, uh, and talk about our, our work in Southampton on photonic metamaterials. Uh, so the, the title of my talk here is actually the, the title of our, our main research grant from the UK Engineering and Physical Sciences Research Council. Uh, so it's a, a six-year program actually involving a, a consortium of research groups based around the, uh, the Nanophotonics and Metamaterials Group in the Optoelectronics Research Center, directed by Professor Jeladev, uh, myself uh, and my colleague, Dr. Eric Plum, uh, together with uh, colleagues uh, under Professor Richardson from the fiber technology side of the ORC, colleagues from chemistry, physics and astronomy, and from the University of Glasgow, so altogether, uh, a group of around 25 postdoctoral researchers, PhD students, visiting researchers, working on a range of projects uh, across essentially three core themes, uh, beginning with uh, materials for metamaterials. So we're interested in new and alternative material platforms for metamaterials, aside from the plasmonic noble metals that are usually used in the optical range. Uh, and then based upon that, the, the functionalities that come from these new materials, from nanostructuring them at the sub-wavelength scale, and then uh, applications based upon those metamaterial functionalities and integration of metamaterial devices into technology platforms such as optical fibers. So I'll touch on each of these three areas in the course of my talk today. Uh, so for those who may not be familiar, uh, what do we mean by a photonic matter material? Well, just as nature assembles atoms and molecules to create naturally occurring materials, uh, we can assemble meta-atoms, meta-molecules into three, actually more typically 2D arrays to create meta-materials, which are, sort of in summary, man-made optical materials with unusual, resonantly enhanced properties that are achieved via structuring at the sub-wavelength scale. And our interests in Southampton have always been not only in, in making a material with a, a fixed sort of unusual property, perhaps a, a negative refractive index, but rather in making metamaterials that have a sort of dynamically controllable active properties, so switchable, tunable, nonlinear optical properties of one kind or another. Uh, and one of the ways of making these active functionalities is through the use of so-called phase change materials. And our interest in phase change nanophotonics actually goes back 